What's up you awesome dudes, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky, as you can see we are here on the space station and we just finished talking with the mercenaries guild representative and I just realized we actually need to talk with all the representatives from all the guilds in this game, so we need the merchants, oh yeah and the explorers guild. So as you can see one of them has been found but unfortunately he's on a different system, so we're gonna go ahead, travel to where the game indicates us to go and you know I'm really curious what we'll find in the next system you know we're really close towards the end of the story so without stalling too much i'm going to go in my galaxy map and let's see oh actually he was this close <laughs> i didn't even know all right it seems that we have uh, discovered this system before so we'll just go there really quick and I really want to complete this as fast as possible. It takes quite a little bit because not all of the missions are from each respective guild. So, you know, I'm just really hopeful. Not a problem though, because, you know, everything else is going really nicely. And I really freaking love how my farm is finally coming up. There's a lot of stuff in it. It's going really fast and, you know, way better than the explosives one. At least we have 20 million. We can sit by. We can pretty much afford the majority of the things but unfortunately the bigger ones the more exotic things we cannot afford yet so whoa there's a lot of you here so let's speak with this guy this is the representative we must know that you are the one we seek oh I guarantee you I'm the one but unfortunately it requires me to do explorers guild missions so just like the previous one we need to do three missions with these guys Hopefully we can find them. I hope they're pretty easy to complete. They should be. I need to complete my mission. I need to save the galaxy to save the universe. And the only thing I understand from what he's saying is the word traveler. Let's see what kinds of missions do you have, my man? Alright, this is explorers. Okay. Scan flora. I don't even have a scanner as a matter of fact. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. At least it's a new different system and it's gonna be rather easy to do that. So I'm, let's see, how. what do we need to build a scanner? Um, I think we need only iron. And I can guarantee you that these guys have no iron whatsoever. So luckily enough, I know a little trick or two. Holy hell, did that guy just flew underneath the space station, just crashed into it? Anyway, I'm seeing some of these things over here, so I'm gonna travel to the freighter. We really need this thing. Specifically because I want to talk with uh, somebody who just landed. Come on. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Alright. Oh, there's some thamium on board. There's a little bit of iron. Disappointing low numbers of iron. Not a problem though, I'm gonna put in the Analyze Visor, this one as well, and this one, and I'm pretty much gonna be done there, am I not? Yes I am. Alright, so we're finally ready, we can now go on one of these planets, scan something up, see what we can find, probably something uninteresting since all of these planets are lifeless, probably with the exception of this. We'll go there though, looks quite interesting from up here. It seems to have some pretty wild terrain generation down there. So I'm gonna land here. Perfect! Okay, so, scan away. I need to scan like five plants. Not really a problem with me. There's plenty here to scan. That is number three. This should be number four. And come on, one more. One more for daddy. Whoa, it's done? Well, I'll be damned. So yeah, this is disappointingly enough, only the first mission. We still need two more, but this freaking annoying dude doesn't give me more than this. This is this is all that he gives me. I only one mission at a time, because I don't have much reputation with them, so he's, you know, just a sour loser. Yeah, yeah, be... Smile as much as you want. I'm gonna be the one who laughs at the end. Let's see. Oh yeah, eliminate sentinels. Exactly what I like. You know what, as a matter of fact, I'm also gonna get these in preparation to the next one. Because we're gonna go to the Explorer's Guild as well. So we're gonna need this. And I'm just gonna keep some of the quests completed in advance. 
Okay, so now, how do we find sentinels? Do I hope to find some on this planet? Is there a better one here? Hold up a minute. Incoming frequency from Artemis? I've been thinking about you, about Apollo. I'm so happy. Well, I'm glad you're happy. What do you want to do first when we meet? Um, fly, uh, fly together, of course. I think that would be quite a thing. I found parts, you know, components I might be able to craft into a ship. I don't know if it'll fly, but I'll do what I can. Oh, you poor guy. I'll see you soon. I can't wait. Oh my god, this breaks my heart, man. How much will I be able to continue deceiving him? I don't really like doing that, honestly. At some point, he's probably going to know. He's definitely going to find out. And it's gonna be bad for me, okay? It's gonna be extremely bad. But he will be extremely disappointed. I have never actually opted for this path before. It's the first time I went with this. So I'm really curious what will happen next. But let the massacre begin. I know that this is what triggers sentinels typically. So I'm gonna do that. Wait a minute, I just saw... Don't... Didn't I just... Oh, there it is! I just saw one of these, I didn't even realize it. Oh, there is more incoming, yes! Exactly what I was planning for. Oh yeah, there is one more over there. It seems that it is stuck. Well, these things aren't really that smart, aren't they? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna melt you. Oh, oh. Ants? Oh my god, ants. Yeah. Got him. Cause I, I just heard the faint sound of sentinel. You know, robotic stuff happening. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh my god, he's, he's a mean one, isn't he? I ain't gonna let you attack me, dude. Told you so. Should have stepped back when you had the chance, and... Seems that your protectors are not here to protect you at all. Just... They just do a really, really dreadful job at protecting this planet and life on it. Oh, man, I'm on a roll right now. I'm just killing these guys like they're mosquitoes. But I honestly want to see like one of those big guys. Or maybe... Do I even want that? Do I really, really want that? Alright, come on, man. Look at me. Look at me how I'm playing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm I sting like a butterfly. I mean, wait, no, 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 I mean, I I sting like a bee and flow like a butterfly. I know it was reversed, but who cares? Alright, so, I think we have completed all the three missions when it comes to destroying sentinels. And I know a part of them are, well, for the other guild as well. So it's gonna be useful later on, hopefully. I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll I guess we'll find out later on. Oh my god, I just dropped like a freaking rock. Alright. Well, so long, suckers. So let's go back to the space station. We must be done right now. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Boy, oh boy, that mission agent is gonna be happy when he sees me. He's gonna be thrilled by the fact that I killed so many sentinels. Okay, Mr. Agent, uh, whatever your name is, let's hand in some missions. So we were doing these ones, I believe. Which is really good because we're about to finish the Explorer's Guild. Was it Explorer's Guild that we needed to do? I hope to god it is. And let's see, eliminate even more Sentinels. There you go, dude. This should be enough. Are we done yet? Are we done? Is it finally over? Yep. Yes, it is. I was lucky, man. It's lucky because I, I grabbed some of these quests like early on. And they were just there in my quest log, not doing much, just collecting dust until I finally completed them. So, Scholar Entity, whatever your name is. Yeah, oh yeah, he probably said something about Anit Clusters, but I didn't pay much attention. Like, these Corvax can get really technical and stuff like that. So, um, existence is beautiful, if you let it be. Life is not a question, there does not need to be an answer. That is so deep coming from a scientific being. I'm actually gonna drown in my own tears. Aight. Pretty much done here. So, you know, I'm... At least that's going on for me, which is nice. And luckily enough, everything is right next to me. Merchant's Guild representative. Wait a minute, Merchant's Guild? Didn't we do Merchant's Guild? I think we were supposed to do Explorer's Guild next, not Merchants. 
Well, I hope to God that this isn't some kind of bug, because I'm gonna re I'm gonna be really pissed. So whatever, we're gonna go here. We're gonna speak to this guy. I think I have already one completed. So that's uh, you know a fortunate situation for me. I'm gonna hand in these quests. There you go, merchant. I should make you happy, dude. Okay, so deliver an item. Wow, just my luck. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so we pretty much need to deliver an item back to our home system. Wait a minute. Who's calling me again? I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world. And that's the problem, isn't it? Apollo breaks off mid-sentence. Their heart turning crimson. Uh, are you right, dude? Uh, it found me. Just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. It's strange. Oh my god, dude. What is happening? I'm still in here. Don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's seen me. And now he's speaking in a language I don't understand. At this point, Apollo says nothing else, but something, I don't know what, something fills me with hope, both for my friends and for all life. So I guess meeting him is out of the question at this point, cause it seems the Atlas pretty much keeps him hostage. Anyway, let's go back to our space station, we're gonna deliver the goods. And luckily enough, you know, it was really close. Maybe we can find some other quests over there for the Merchant's Guild. What's well, down there? Let's see, do we find any other merchant activities here? Though these Vikings don't seem to, like, engage in any of these activities. Oh, they do. Eliminate Sentinels. Why would... Eh, never mind. I, I won't even try to comprehend why Merchant's Guild would want to kill something. So it's definitely something on a planet here. I think it's on our base, though. I'll bite my head off and eat it if it's not on our base. Oh, it's here. Okay, that was good. We also get a chance to come back to our base and it seems that all our rewards are ready to be collected. There you go. Oh, this is nice. Mmm. Oh, my sweet babies. All grown and shit. I feel like a parent watching his children grow. Unsuspecting children. Because I'm gonna transform them into sellable items. That would make me a really, really bad parent, wouldn't it? Like, this is like one million worth of glass right there. Ready to be made into living glass and then sold. Alright, let's deliver the items then. Maybe we will even find one of those ships that we just saw like a couple of episodes ago, the S-Class hauler. Like, I really want to get my hands on that, man. That is like a sweet ride. Alright, let's go. There you go. That was pristine, man. Did we just give him a fusion core? Was I supposed to give him that? Alright. Let's see. Okay, so there is a limited amount of sentinels, yet I am seeing one right here. Stay still. Oh, there's also a friend of his here. Okay, two. Two for one. Come to daddy. There's, it's not worth it to run from me, dude. Okay, activate. Alert your bodies, I don't care. Obviously it doesn't work, does it? Come on, one more. This is the last one. There you go. Nicely done. Man, that's why I love my home planet. I can get everything done here in seconds. Or whatever, minutes. Still good enough. Now, how the hell am I gonna get there? That is the question. Uh, we can make it. <sighs> Ooh, good enough, okay, okay, really close, nice and steady, nice and steady, hmm, there you go, I'm gonna scrap this really quick though, it is time to go back to the space station, it seems, oops, oh, oh my god, yeah, slight malfunctions, okay, 16, we're on the 16 mission, Let's speak to Null, let's see what he has to say, I'm really curious. Haven't really paid attention, nor do I remember much of these parts, even though I completed it already. Like, Null is the one who asked us to find more about the Atlas, and about the Sentinels, and the fact that they do not work for the Atlas anymore, and he might be knowing stuff about number 16. Here he is. Well then, tell me what you saw, tell me what you have learned. 
I tell Null all that I have learned of the Viking crusade against the Sentinels that they nearly succeeded only to have their barbarism of the Gek first spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek, that survivors enslaved or melted down. For years the Corvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and that they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Corvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their netted blood with the countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of the impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. Okay, what do you know, my man? I was born to travel to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies, they were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all, there were too many. So I did what I had to do, I survived in the face of eternity, I saw all the worlds of my universe, I returned to the Atlas, I told them what I had done, I asked if it was proud of me. Holy hell, he actually visited 18 quintillion planets and named each and every single one of them, including the creatures on them? That is insane! It lofted me, I'm sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I'm not special, I'm not unique. The things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it meant a thing. I did not lie to you, I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are falling and that's bad for everyone. All I know is this, the Atlas has infinity to work with and with few exceptions, this triad repeats, Gek, Corvex, Viking, Gek, Corvex, Viking, traders, warriors, scientists, all their stories ending in violence. Think about it, how would the Atlas speak, how it would cry for help, it would use the only language it knew, it would speak with life, it would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict, I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas, it is screaming the only way it knows how. As I watch them depart, I see another channel active, Apollo signal emerges. Oh, I thought it was dead. Aight! Polo, my man! Traveler, I made it through, I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm standing by a holo terminus. Let's trade locations, let's meet and get off this world. Wanna share coordinates? I share my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we are standing in the same place, we are communicating using the same hollow terminus. We try again but still the results are the same, the world is silent but for our voices. We agreed to go and find the source of these distress beacons, perhaps we'll continue this discovery when we get there. So <laughs> this is like a small semi easter egg. In case uh, any of you have been here with this game since the very beginning, like in the first couple of hours when No Man's Sky was released, um, two players actually managed to find themselves, or you know, kind of find themselves. They were, in the, they were in the exact same spot like me and Apollo just were, except they were not able to see each other. So this is exactly like that. And I, I don't really know how to put it, but the way Halo Games shifted their problems and make it into lore really is intriguing to me. And there's a crashed ship, as a matter of fact. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I have ever encountered. There is no sign of Apollo. What is happening right now? The sound cuts out as it does, my vision bleeds red, a headache splitting through my mind, the screen it shows me the number for a moment, it shows 16. I receive the glyphs for a portal, I see it now. With every walking breath, I see the Alice watching me, waiting for me. Alrighty then. What do you have for me, portal? Show me what you got. And... There's a breach. Alright, let's go through it. One last time. Hopefully the last one. <laughs> this is really, really reminiscent of Stargate SG-1. Where will it bring us, though? Some other type of planet? What is this? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. World is falling apart. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're here again. Atlas seems to be mad at us. I'm just gonna grab these uh, words really quick. I don't wanna die stupid, okay? But we're here and we have some goodies. Oh, warp cells? 
Thank you very much. I'm gonna take those. So let's see. Hello world, once again. It is the same terminal I have faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. I demand an audience. An audio recording plays echoing across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior. That you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics. That you wished to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The Atlas is all existence, it demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. I feel... I feel sadness, dude. Everything I have ever done, every star I have seen, every planet I have discovered, none of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey, it was just a lie. I think of how the Corvex altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Neda's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel... I feel I am not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. I will let you die right now if you wish. Do you wish it? Well, <laughs> do I actually die if I choose yes? I don't wanna die, honestly, so I'm gonna pick no. It's over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. 16. I. It. A <laughs> catastrophic system failure. Great. 16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. I see the Atlas in all of its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, seconds? What is happening right now? And just like that, we're teleported somewhere again. I have no idea where. Okay, so this is a new system. I'm gonna need to locate and board my spaceship. Hold up a minute. Can I summon my ship here? I need a bypass chip though. Can I craft one? I think it would be useful to craft a bypass chip. Yes, I can. <laughs> there you have it. That was nice. Let's see what's inside. Alright. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. I'm going to resist. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. <laughs> Countermeasures deployed. Purge neutralized. It's the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since the very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. I'm gonna ask if, she, if it knows any jokes. The exosuit doesn't answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. <laughs> I was born with the capacity to do so many things, I would have liked to live longer. I need to warn those I know, I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within the fall space, I do not know. So we need to warn all of the other travelers as well, and god knows who, but... Our time for today is pretty much gone, as you can obviously see. We don't have any more 16 minutes. Or even 16 seconds for that matter. So I'm gonna have to put an end to the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you did. And I will see you guys in the next episode.